Chapter 2 Set More Effective Goals by Incorporating Discipline Building Elements What if I told you that you can set up your goals in such a way that they can be self-sustaining? In other words, they train you to become more disciplined. And the more you achieve these goals, the more disciplined you become and you are able to take on more and more goals. Sounds awesome, right? Well, this is not theory. It can happen, and people do make it happen. Here's how you do it. Prioritize your sub-goals The first thing that you need to do is to prioritize the sub-goals or sub-elements of your big goals. You sort them based on their likelihood to lead to big objectives. In other words, if you knock out these sub-goals, they directly take you closer to your big objectives. Of course, not all sub-goals are like this. Sometimes, sub-goals are necessary, but they lead to an indirect path. As long as you are reasonably certain that if you take that indirect path, it eventually leads you to your big goals, then the sub-goals is good enough. List down all these sub-goals and make it your highest priority to focus on sub-goals that are the most directly connected to your big objectives. In other words, when you do these sub-goals, it's like going from point A to point B. The shorter and straighter the line, the better. Be as clear about your sub-goals parts as possible. While prioritizing sub-goals is important, you also need to make sure that you conceptualize them correctly. Look at the sub-goals parts and make sure that you are clear as what you need to do, how to do it, when to do it, and where to do it. The most important ingredient, of course, is to be clear as to why you are doing this sub-goal. What is its impact on your big objectives? How does it get you there? What kind of role does it play in helping you achieve the big things that you are shooting for in your life? Building discipline by making your highest priority sub-goal your primary focus. In every given day, make sure that you are focusing on sub-goals that lead you closer to your big objectives. Make these sub-goals and their activities your primary focus. Everything must lead to it. Keep this top of your mind. Also, make it a point to do the hardest part of these sub-goals first. Make no mistake about it, regardless of the sub-goal or set of activities, there's always something that you're going to struggle with. There's always going to be a part of a project that you have a tough time starting. Maybe it's technically easy, but you're just emotionally intimidated by it. On the other hand, it may be emotionally easy and very straightforward as far as your understanding of its necessity is concerned, but it's technically challenging for you. Regardless, zero in on this hardest part and choose to do them first. I know it won't be easy. At first, it's probably going to feel like you're pulling teeth. It's definitely not going to happen overnight. However, the more you keep at it, the greater your self-discipline becomes because you're tackling the hardest thing first. You're not running away from it. You're not procrastinating. You're not trying to work around it. But you're tackling it head on. Sure, the first attack is probably going to be very brutal. But the more you keep attacking, the more confident you become. At the very least, you're not intimidated. Keep this up and this can lead you to taking consistent action that ensures your sub-goals are achieved. The more sub-goals you knock out, of course, the closer you get to your big objectives. This is not exactly rocket science or brain surgery.